I received an email a couple of weeks ago and I was asked if I would do a video about if you are single and you like your pastor, what should you do? So first I'm going to read the email to you and then after that I'm going to answer the question. I'm a wife, mom, and also I'm married to a pastor. I've been married for 30 and a half years. I teach Christian wives through faith-based content. So if you want to learn how to be a good wife, join my community by subscribing to my channel and clicking on a notification bell. Hello, I really like the content on your YouTube channel. It's been very helpful. I am single and I am interested in a man that pastors a church that I attend. He is divorced with kids. I don't see any content on your YouTube channel about single women liking pastors. Will you consider doing a YouTube video about what to do if you're single and like a pastor? I am curious as to what you would suggest. If I should say something or just wait for him to make the first move. How did that happen between you and your husband? Before I answer the questions that you asked, first I want to talk about some things that you may want to consider when you like your pastor. It's normal if you are single and your pastor is single to have a crush on him. God put something special in pastors. And what he put inside of them, he made it to where people are going to cling to their pastor. They're going to want to be around their pastor. And sometimes single women have crushes on their pastors. That's normal. But before you go any further, you do want to ask God for his will in your life. And you also want to ask him to order your steps. Everyone have desires and some of our desires are connected to God's will and some of them are not. So that's why you have to be careful. You can't just go by the way you feel about something. So just pray for God's will. Another thing you do want to consider is that it's other single women in your church that feel like that they should be his wife. So that's why, as I mentioned before, it's very important to allow God to lead you. Ask him to guide your footsteps because you can't just follow your heart unless it's connected to God's will. In the email, you ask, what should you do? Should you approach him or should you wait on him to approach you? If your pastor likes you, he will approach you. You don't have to do anything. In the Bible, it talks about how that when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. So you want your husband to find you. I've been in church all of my life due to my mom. She was a pastor. She started pastoring when I was a baby. And over the years, as a child, I've seen and heard a lot. I've heard about how some single women in the church seduced their pastor and he ended up marrying them. But then in the long run, he ended up resenting them. And the reason why he resented them, because he felt like he was trapped. So if you're interested in someone that's a pastor or any man, you want to always let him chase you. Men like a challenge. So you want to make sure that he is more into you just as much as you are into him. Being married to a pastor is very different. It's not the same as a normal marriage. You're going to have to sacrifice a lot. A lot of your husband's time is going to be spent in the ministry. So you guys are not going to just be able to live your life like normal married couples do. A lot of women don't understand it, but in order to be a pastor's wife, you need to be called. Everybody is not called for the role of being a pastor's wife. The same way everyone isn't called to be a pastor. You want to make sure that you were chosen by God for that role. You asked me in an email about how my husband and I got together. Before my husband and I got married, we didn't talk about him becoming a pastor because that was something that he didn't desire. At that time, we had both bikes slide. When my husband and I got married, I was eight months pregnant. Ministry wasn't on our mind. But not long after we got married, we rededicated our lives back to God. A couple of months later, my husband did a street service in someone's yard. And in that street service, I would say at least 
40 people gave their lives to God. So after they had given their lives to God, the church that we attended, they started coming, but they stopped. And the reason why they stopped, because they said that they wasn't comfortable there. So they begged my husband about starting a church and becoming their pastor. My husband thought about it for a while and we talked about it. But not long after that, he told them yes. And the only reason why he said yes, because he felt that it was God's will. I was only 22. When I became a pastor's wife, I was a new mom, also a stepmom, and a new pastor's wife. <laughs> and so during that time, every so often I felt overwhelmed. There was a lot of things that I needed to learn about, but I'm so thankful that I had a relationship with God. And so I prayed to Him a lot. I only talked to God. I didn't go to anyone else and tell them my problems. And I'm glad I did that because I needed answers from God. So by me praying to God about it, the Holy Spirit, he taught me how to be a good wife, a good mom, and a good pastor's wife. Another reason why I know too that being a pastor's wife is actually a calling and it shouldn't be something that you just want to do because of the pros of being a pastor's wife because there are cons as well. And to be honest, it's more cons than pros. And the reason why I say that, being a pastor's wife is more sacrificing than anything. But I love being a pastor's wife. And I know that the only reason why I love it because God called me to be one. Over the years, I have talked to many pastor's wives. And some of the ones I talked to, they were always miserable in their role as a pastor's wife. And I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. Not to say that I don't ever go through difficult seasons of being a pastor's wife because I have been through some difficult seasons. But I can say that God gave me strength. Every time I got ready to go through a hard time in my life, he gave me strength. He renewed me. And I know it's only because he called me. And when you are called, God has already put something inside of you. And a lot of times you won't even be able to see it or you don't know it at that moment. But when you start going through and when you overcome, you're going to know that you are called for that position. If you're not called, you're going to resent the role and you will be miserable throughout your whole marriage. As I just mentioned before, there are pros and cons of being a pastor's wife. And if you are called, the pros are going to outweigh the cons because you're not going to focus so much on the cons of being a pastor's wife. Sometimes I do get tired of going to church, but what's so funny about it is like after I get dressed, now we don't live but like a few minutes from our church. So by the time I go to my car, and I'm on my way to church before I get there, those feelings leave me. It's like, I never felt like that before. God just take those negative feelings away. And once I walk into the sanctuary, I feel God's strength. So the main thing that I do want you to understand about liking a pastor or becoming a pastor's wife, you want to make sure that you are called. And if you are called, if it's God's will, you don't have to do anything. It's just going to happen for you. I'm thinking about doing a video about the pros and the cons of a pastor's wife. And if you want me to create a series about that topic, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions about being a pastor's wife, let me know in the comment section as well. If this video helped you, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the notification bell. That way you will be notified when I upload a video. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you stay tuned for the next upload. Bye.